Has this ever happened to you? You're walking around, you're thrifting your clothes at the local thrift store, the one where all the cool kids go, and there's nothing left for you, so you, you know, you walk over to the electronics section, you know, because, you know, maybe you'll find something cool. And what do you find? You find a cool film camera. So you're, like, all excited, and you, like, go and you buy it, it's five dollars, um, and then you bring it home, and it doesn't work. Or they don't make film for it anymore. Or it's not even a film camera, and you're like, how did I not know this? And you just feel kind of like, hmm, well, I don't know what to do with this now. What just happened there was a classic, classic case of... I don't know where I was going with that. So, today I want to talk about how to buy thrift store cameras. It may seem easy, it may seem like the easiest thing in the world, and it kind of is, but I'm going to tell you about it because myself and some of my friends and other people I know have all done this before. You buy a cool camera uh, at a thrift store and then it turns out it's not exactly what you thought it was. So what I did, I went on a little thrifting trip to go find some thrift store cameras. Um, at the first Goodwill I went to, uh, there was nothing there except for this tripod, so enjoy this clip of me hanging out with this tripod. But eventually, uh, I did find uh, a camera that I thought, you know, this camera looks really good. This is gonna be a great example for my video of, like, what to buy. But, instead, it was not a good example because there was corrosion in the battery. Which leads me to my first part is inspecting the camera before you buy. You want to take a look um, inside the battery area, you want to open it up, figure out how to open up the camera, figure out, you know, does it need a battery, does it not need a battery, and things like that. So just like, you know, just, just take a look at it. Just look at it. Just, just, just take a look at it. Does it look good? Does it not look like it's rotting and falling apart in your hands? And then maybe you got yourself a good one. What you want to do next, after you inspected it and it looks good, is that you're going to want to take out your handy dandy little phone. Mine's right here. And you're going to want to do some research. You know, find any name on that camera. Find any number on that camera and look it up. Figure out what type of camera this is. Does it take 35mm film? Does it take 120 film? Is it a Super 8 camera? Does it take APS film? Uh, so just figure out what type of film it takes by the brand name. Look up do they if they still make the film. You know, there's a lot of Polaroid land cameras out there that I'm pretty sure you can't buy the film for anymore. You know, just be careful with that. I mean, if Polaroid land cameras do look pretty cool, so if you just want to buy it because it looks cool, go right ahead. I'm talking to people that like want to shoot with this camera that they buy. So, yeah. Look up the name on it. Does it say Kodak on it? Does it say... Uh, Yashica, does it say Fuji? You know, you know, just 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 look up anything on it, and you'll you'll I'm sure you'll find something uh, that will give you some sort of answer of what type of camera this is. But make sure to also uh, check to see what type of battery it takes because it could take a battery that they don't make anymore. So make sure to look that up. Or the battery might be really expensive, and you might not want to spend a lot of money on a battery. Just something to keep in mind. Now you might be wondering, why would I buy a camera from a thrift store if it seems like I have to, you know, do research and some of them aren't even going to be good? Well, let me tell you this. Buying a camera from a thrift store is the easiest way to get into film photography. If you're someone who is new to film photography and you don't know where to start, go to your local thrift store. Try to find a camera there because you don't want to buy a disposable camera because those things are like 25 bucks for one roll of film when you can go and buy a $5 camera from a thrift store and then buy rolls of film for it. And you could reuse that camera, unlike a disposable camera. So it's one, it's really cheap and efficient. Um, it's good for the environment because you know, you're not using disposable and it's being thrown away every time you're done shooting a roll. And so yeah, it's super cheap and it's fun. And you know, you could always go to like a camera store, or you could go online on eBay and buy a film camera. That's also a great way to get into film photography too. But I'm talking to people who just want to buy like a really cheap camera, just want to get a film effect, and you just, you know, you just want to try it out for fun. You know, you don't want to buy a hundred dollar camera or anything above that price at the moment. You know, that's totally understandable. I get that. You know, especially if you're not sure if you're going to like it or not. So this is the easiest, 
quickest way to get into film photography. So thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you watching it. I hope you have a great day. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I will be making more videos, so even if you don't like and subscribe, I'll be making more videos anyway. But it'll be really cool if you liked and subscribed because, you know, we could all be friends. So anyway, have a great day. I'll see you guys later. And yeah, you like my new blue backdrop? I think it's uh, pretty neat. So uh, yeah, see ya. Needed a little fuel. Uh, needed a little something to just uh, to get me through. <laughs> um, Got it. Sometimes you just need a little noodles and company. Sometimes just company.